Many of us have never known any other monarch on the throne. She's watching you. Yeah. Um, but to mark uh, the Queen's Diamond uh, Jubilee next year, a giant statue of her is to go on display in Cheshire. Yeah, it's been created by local artist Nick Elphick, and today he unveiled it. It's a huge marble head uh, that will form part of the statue. Eunice Muller has been to take a look. For the past three months, Nick Elphick from Chester has been working on a sculpture of the Queen's head at his workshop. Along the way, he's had sleepless nights and the occasional self-doubt. But he hopes to have created what he set out to do. I wanted to make the, to make the Queen proud, you know, um, to, to, to make sure that I could do her justice. It's been, it's been scary, but also extremely joyful, really. His queen is the monarch we recognise from our pound notes and today a five foot version was displayed next to a 15 foot statue that would be used to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee next year. I want people to recognise her instantly as the queen, you know, as, as the icon from miles away and from close and obviously because she's going to be seen from so high that's a huge objective and I'm hoping it's worked. As you know legend has it that Chester was created by the Celtic giant Leon. But by April of next year, there will be 60 different versions of the Statue of the Queen. Communities across Cheshire can apply to have one of these for their towns and villages and for celebrations. On the day she's going to be down in London. So up here, if you want a street party, you can put the Queen at the head of the table and you can all have fun. So that's really what, what was driving it. The Queen will get a glimpse on her visit to Chester, but we all hope she likes it because it wasn't that long ago that getting it wrong would have meant a trip to the Tower for Nick and his head that would be on display. Eunice Muller, BBC Northwest Tonight, Chester.